All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to the stream. What's going on, guys? How you guys doing? Um, this week, uh, we pretty much finished all of the playthroughs that I wanted to get through, at least within the uh, alluded time that I have up until next week, Wednesday. Um, still planning to have a end of the year stream on that date, which is the twentieth, I believe. So, what can we do in the meantime? Well, gonna be going through uh, a quick indie tonight. Uh, gonna be going through what remains of Edith Edith Finch. Excuse me. Um, game's been out for quite a while. I know. Um, I just haven't actually played it, and it's apparently one of those like very quick, easy ones that we could just kind of get right through in today's time. Um, gonna do that right now. It says mostly playable with your controller. Well, I guess I'll just play it on keyboard. It's fine. Um, I don't really know much about the game. I just hear like hushes and whispers, you know, about it, and it seems like it's pretty good uh, for what it is. So at least just for today, we'll get that going. Uh, for the rest of the week, though, um, going to be continuing with uh, learning some King of Fighters and going to start uh, Killer Instinct. We're going to get that going because I want to like learn some new fighting games just in the meantime. And of course, the Long Island community really wants me to get into uh, KOF some more. So I'll be uh, I'll be getting some practice into those games uh, for the week. And I think we'll just keep on that like we'll keep that rhythm up. Maybe with uh, Cage Two Rando here and there. Um, We'll, pre we'll keep that going up until next week. And then next week we'll have the end of the year stream. And of course that's going to be doing the um, the best games of the year. And I'll talk about them. I'll have that as a separate recording for the for the YouTube. Um, we'll, get that, uh, we'll get that set up. And then we'll also have some uh, giveaways for that as well. So the top three games of my, uh, of my year will be available to give away for purchase. Well, not for purchase, but for just the giveaway. Uh, for anyone that is already following and participates in the stream. Um, yeah, so if you guys want some free games, uh, check that out. And yeah, we'll get that going whenever uh, we're set up for that. Uh, but for now, let's just jump right in. Apparently the gameplay kind of just starts right now. Uh, as soon as you pretty much hit play. Uh, I just looked around for just a second, but it does pretty much start as soon as we get things going. So let's just start. Like I said, I don't really know much about the game, like, at all. I just know it's a good game, and people really enjoy it. So, don't really know what to really expect from here, but we'll, uh, we'll get things started. It is a little bit loud, though. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you, and I'm sorry about that. I'm just going to start at the beginning, with the house. Ooh, very, very slow. Alright, hang on just a second. Let's, uh, let's get some controls and all this stuff fixed. Uh, I'll up the sensitivity. Uh, full window is fine, I don't care. Um... Okay, I think we're fine. Alright, that's good. Alright, let's keep going. Yeah, it's much better. I lived here until I was 11, but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Orcas Island Gazette. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Uh, trespassers will be prosecuted. I'm a going anyway. In her will, my mother left me a key that didn't tell me what I'd unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or... She thought that the mystery would be enough to bring me back. The Finches, huh? Well, there's two paths. I'ma go this way. The truth is, even after I inherited the house, 
I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. All right. Get a little things established. The around the house have always been uncomfortably silent. As if they're about to say something, but never do. Nice way to uh, kind of add to the atmosphere with how they're doing the subtitles, really. Just adding it to the environment. Oh, the house cool. was exactly like is. I remembered it. The way I've been dreaming about it. It looks like it's just houses stacked on top of each other. Like, that's a house, that's a house, that's a house. I asked Edie once about the dragon in the pond. She said it had killed her husband. I was six. It seemed like an odd joke to me, even then. That looks pretty cool, like a dragon thing. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but that looks pretty cool. Earthbound Cory, hey, how you doing? As a child, this game is great. The house made me I hear really good things about it. Put um, into words. Seems like it's a uh, game kind of for me when it comes to indie stuff. So uh, I've always heard good stuff about it, and decided I kind of have some time to get through now, a quick game for the night. And I knew what a better exactly time than now. Those words were. I was afraid of the house. Well, exploratory minds come come up right now, and there's no way for me to kind of move faster but hey let's take a quick look uh, all right well nothing to really see i guess i think that i wonder if like that top section like was closed off like for the road or something but we'll see thanks for coming to the stream dude i really appreciate it man door. welcome in it didn't all right well that's good looking in I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. I will probably have another way to get in then. A little hard to like kind of keep on moving the mouse there, but it's not that big of a deal. Uh, someone missing and just some pottery mix. All right, let's take a quick look around. See if there's like a way I can get into the window or something. And I can't jump or anything over the fence. Okay. All right. Let's take a quick look around. There's no, uh, oh, maybe it's like through the garage, actually. Let's see. Maybe the garage door is open. No, uh, windows in the bottom that I can get through. Oh, wait a minute. Well, I can't really crouch, can I? Uh, nope. Okay. Right, let's take a look. They look like pictures, actually. That's weird. Okay, well, maybe it's just not textured right to make it supposed to look like a window or something. Oh, here we go. Oh, doggy door. Me and my boys. Oh. Okay. I guess auto um, The doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Uh, these controls seem like they're uh, more difficult to play. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's not hard. I mean, controls really in like a game like this, it's kind of not really something that I really take into too much consideration. Because if it's like a walk and talk, the gameplay is the walk and talk. So, you know, I don't really like think too much of it. For the first time in years. 2010. Hey, that's the year I graduated. Hell yeah. But who's to say that this is like the most like updated calendar, home. right? But instead of a family, they were just memories of one. So I guess I'm playing as Edith, Edie, Dawn, and Lewis. So that's that's me. And Lewis and Dawn. And loving memory of Lewis Finch. Oh man, oh, that's rough. Uh, November twenty first, twenty twenty uh, ten. Loved brother to Edith. What? That's very specific. To have on that, but. Son of Dawn, great grandson to Edie. Memorial Service, Finch Family Cemetery, 2149, Fireweed Road. Yeah, kind of weird to have like that as specifics. Witch's Kitchen, Viking's Belly, Tasting Thailand. Tasting Thailand? 
I probably rile up that with a good book. Flour, salt, water, yeast. Man, who writes this stuff? Like how only one restaurant would deliver to our house, so we had Chinese a lot. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't eat here. Chinese food makes me sick. At least they like have the cookbooks, multiple of them to make Thai food. All right. Good enough for the family to like keep in with what they like. The I guess. table was still a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Oxygen tank, yeah. My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Assisted living, yeah, okay, all right. I'm getting the established narrative, but where is everybody else? Clearly, one of them's passed. The mom has like inherited the teeth. house to her, so she might actually just be the last in like the family. Because I guess if the great grandmother like didn't last long, you know, after that. Okay, I, I do actually have to do that. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. All right, so Barbara Fitch was actually part of, maybe a director actually. That's pretty cool. Big in the show business. We got some RE4 bugs. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Okay, so Lewis and Milton, all related. If you have information, call Milda. Kind of hard to... Mixed Indian and white. So, I guess they're all maybe that. Or unless they're all, um, you know, I have some adopted kids in there. But, cool. Uh, well, I guess we'll go through that door later. Um, uh, we have that one. Uh, you know what? One door at a time. I'd rather not come back Mom downstairs to see this. Mom always told me to, to stay this. out of the basement, so I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Oh, okay. Well, fair enough. At least I came to check. We'll probably open these two doors later. There's so many books named him books. After Milton disappeared, Mom sealed up all the bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Well, that's nice. My friend Bigfoot. Well, when yeah, director, pretty much. About my family, Either that or uh, actually the an actress. Thing they always want to know about is Barbara. I guess actress, yeah. Bill Button. Oh, even more. Um, Edie's father, Odin, built the original house. Yeah, we can't get in through there. We'll probably get through all the rest of the house. Probably a Mom must later. have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. Alright, uh... And that leads right there, okay. I thought it was gonna, like, lead into the room or something. Alright, let's check this out. Alright, so, Sven, Edie... Nobody's room, I guess. Oh, this is actually nice. I like that. That's actually really cool. I like that, the, uh... Pretty much like the na night and day difference, literally. As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. Okay. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother. Yeah, th this is really cool. Like the the half and half when you split in right in the middle, you got literally the night and day. That's cool. The last time I was in Edith Senior's room, I was ten. And Edith she was Senior. A portrait. Huh. I mean, this is definitely a bigger family than I thought. All right. Well, I guess we're going in there. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with, if she hadn't died in 1947. Man, a lot... Wow, these are... Very short lifespans, all these people. That That's ten years. I mean, so far that's like... That's 14 years. Barbara was a child star for two years. Until America grew out of it. Wow. 
that's really interesting. Like, what exactly happened to all of them? Like, why they're passing away so, like... Alright, so, so far, that's the oldest. So, that's, uh... Quick math, that's 49. Yeah. And then... Yeah, okay, you live the longest. Damn, Edie, you... You lasted... Wow. She lived. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, so... 10. And... 11. Yeah, so, so far, that's, like, 3 or 4 people... Within, like... Adolescence. Like, not even. Wow. I spent a lot of You learn the family tree through the game? Yeah, it seems time. like it. Absolutely. I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Okay. Turns out my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Oh, that's cool. Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. But I had no idea what was behind that door. And I constantly have to just keep on moving the mouse, but no big deal. Just like I had no idea where all this was going to lead. So now we're in Molly's room. I at Molly's room through the peephole. Molly's durable had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier durable. Oh, cool. Like, look at the little, uh... Oh, that's pretty cute. Like, having the draw, like, be a little, uh... Little maze with, like, a little bed, too. That's pretty neat. We, uh, we used to have a little gerbil, too, for, like, a couple months, Amy maybe, when I was a kid. First time, I, felt like I'd I don't know what happened to it. Maybe we, um, gave it to a different family or something because we couldn't really take care of it. I don't really know the story behind that. I was pretty young at the time. I got the sense Edie had spent a lot of time here before my mom sealed the doors. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. Number one, why would you send the kid out without eating? The, the gerbil, gerbil food. food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Excuse me? I mean, granted, I guess when you're a kid, you'll just eat anything, right? Like, I did not think we were just going to go straight up eat the carrot. That's a bowl. Oh. I thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. What? What? Malnourished children? What the? Uh? Oh, man. All right, well, that's already not sounding too good. I can eat a pumpkin. My Halloween candy was all gone. No more Snickers. Damn. That's rough. Mom, can I come out now? Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. Okay. Mom's such a motivator. I kept eating and eating. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. Oh, man. Oh, I never... Ooh, that's rough. Isn't that something parents used to do uh, when their kids... I guess send them without eating? I guess so, but, like, I guess nowadays I couldn't... I couldn't do that. Like... Is that even really edible? Alright. Well, I guess if it's a real plant, sure. But... I personally I haven't done that. Like, my window. I personally it haven't, a uh, swallow going back to her nest. I haven't been punished like that. I was punished usually by clothes hanger, belt, or, like, eating, uh, hot sauce. Those are pretty much the big three for me. I reached out for her. And suddenly... I was a cat! Alright. Well, the gameplay starts now. I 
I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Well, all right, we're playing Animorphs now. Uh, let's see. So probably just up there. Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. Oh, you can't even like zoom in, right? Yeah. Okay. Um. So I guess there. Yeah. Well, I'm just accepting it. Sure. <laughs> I did not expect to, like, be, uh, straight-up Animorphs right now. I jumped, and I almost got her. I could tell she was getting really tired. Wait, is this, like, a... Is this a treehouse? Because, like, hang on. How do you actually, like, get up from here? Like it, yeah, okay. It is pretty much just a treehouse. Alright, um. Now I was up in the big tree. I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. I gobbled her up. And suddenly, I was an owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Alright, so you have more than just one animal you can go into. This straight up just becoming like Harry Potter stuff. Rabbits. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. Oh, it's really weird to control. Oh, man. Oh, man. I saw another one. Alright, come on. Okay, got it. Good shit. I imagined his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed Damn. the mine, and I didn't <laughs> chew one bit. Then I flew off to find something bigger. Yeah, she can't, straight up can't stop, won't stop eating, man. And there were two rabbits, I think. I, I don't think that that was the same one. A mama rabbit. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. Man, what the hell is happening? And suddenly, I was a shark. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm down. Oh, oh shit. Keep rolling, rolling. Yo, yo, chill out. <laughs> Whoa, we fucking jaws on land. I rolled off the cliff and into <laughs> the car's like, oh shit. Now, I was hungrier than ever. Well, all right. All right well, can I, uh, I have to like kind of go lower, right? I'm trying. Oh, it's like, okay, it's not that bad. Yeah, I definitely weird on this. But... Juicy seals. Did that not count? Okay. I tore off her flipper, and it tasted really good. What is, what is happening with her? Okay, now you got the blood trail, yeah. Fish are friends, not food. In this game, they are food. I'm about to be man eater too. When I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. Oh, now I'm a snake. Man, this is definitely going off the rails for me. Oh, it's also, like, really weird, like, the camera angle that we're going for. But okay. Now I was a monster, and I smelled people everywhere. Oh, not even a snake. Okay, just straight up. Just straight up a monster. Okay. All right, go this way, I guess. This is all within one day's worth of a journal, too. We're fucking Cthulhu now. I'm down. Who got the way? 
Oh, time to eat Henry. I need to change the camera. Well, I guess it's space, yeah? Okay, it's space. I wanted to stop, but also, I didn't. I guess this is what happens when you don't feed your kids properly. After the last passenger, I was still hungry. And across the water, I smelled something new. Something I had to have. So I swam towards it. Halal. <laughs> it would make me feel a certain type of way having halal for the first time. I get that. I slithered onto the sand. And the good smell went into an old pipe. Well, that's gonna be like some... Like pecan pie. For cola right now. Ain't nothing smelling better than a pecan pie right now. Oh, oh wow. Oh man, that that didn't control too well. That was weird. Okay. At least I don't have to like recenter the closer, camera or anything. Closer. Okay. Is this her room? Yeah, I think it is. All my stomachs started growling. All my stomachs? And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know I will be delicious. Wow, okay. Very interesting imagination, that one. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. Okay, so yeah. She's 90, uh, 99, so Milton was my year, actually. Um, there's two, four, six. Well, I guess those eight, ten, eleven. So there's eleven now. Okay. Space. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, that's definitely interesting. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Yeah, this is her, yeah. Yep. Schedule pill taking, yeah. Her room was like a museum. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune and misfortune. Odin oh, Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse. His wife, Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. The latest victims of the family curse. Maybe that has to have something to do with why some of them are passing away so late. Or so early, rather. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. And that was the Oprah Din. <laughs> Odin's daughter, Edie. That would be kind of cool if like, they merged like, two type of indies together in that way. Home, Orcas Island. Funny Odin enough, there actually were survivors buried on the Oprah Din, so look at that. His daughter, Edie, is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Okay. Oh. Yeah, well. 
how do I get out of here? Uh, uh, hmm. Nope. Uh, oh, you just back out like everything else. Okay. That's a little weird, but sure. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. All right, so, yeah, Edie, yeah, okay. Mole man beneath the Finch house. Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. Oh, hey. I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. So what do we got? Edith Jr. Lake Trip, Sam Medal Ceremony in 63, Home Movies, My Friend Bigfoot, the movie that she was in, Sam Photo Award 69, Conspiracy Now, Weird America, The fine the Finers? Finish? Oh, Finches. Oh, yeah. Obviously, I thought that was an E. Uh, Edith Interview and Random Junk. Man, it's a good thing kids don't have to worry about vhs tapes anymore and where you had to record everything and then have to delete some things because you didn't have any more space oh man one summer they evacuated the island but Edie refused to go for a few weeks she was a celebrity 72 year old woman refuses to evacuate because of a little forest fire when Edie told people sven was killed by a dragon she could also have said he was building a dragon shaped slide that collapsed she could have, but she didn't. All right, and that's the thing that we saw earlier that I guess that killed Sven, yeah. They, they were just building that up and they just fell on him or something. That's rough. Norwegian folktales, yeah. All right, what's this? Uh, deepest sympathy. Uh, may warm memories help and comfort you in your sad low. Even yeah, in your 90s. Rough. Sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Oh my god, this fucking bathroom. I just got transported to my grandparents' bathroom. The only trace oh Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. This is very pink. <laughs> it was Holy a moly. Pink trace. There's a secret in this bathroom by Sven and Edie Finch. Wait, uh, oh, this way. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place you would look. Oh, I love those these types of books. Yeah, where you had, like, little uh, things that would open it up. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Man, I like those books. Yeah, th those were really cool, like, when I was a kid. Yeah, that's awesome. Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. Pretty cool little photo, uh, photography room. Never really got into photography like that, but they were always kind of cool. Alright, so I guess Milton was here again. Fort Calvin, hell yeah. Oh, is this? Oh, this is the half and half room. Yeah, nice, nice. Cool, cool. And Fort Sam. Marine Corps. Ah, damn. Yeah, all right. Well, that lines up. All right, wait, wait. Let's check everything else. To Command Center. All right, Buzz Lightyear. If I was to pick one, I would definitely be on this astronaut room. Yeah, that would probably be my joint. Grandpa Sam had a twin, and that he never talked about him. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. And 11, too. Dude, a lot of these kids passing away, like, so fast. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Fink. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. 
My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. Well, jeez. At Barbara's funeral, he swore he'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Wow. Wow. What the hell? Mom! Calvin! Dinner's ready! Coming! But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. I told him going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. That is so dark. And maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. Sheesh. I think he'd already made up his mind. That's what I want to remember about my brother. The day he made up his mind to fly. And he did. Wow. Man, that's, that's fucking dark. Damn. Calvin's story wow, fits that's me tough. Familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. That is rough. Man, that sucks. After the funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Mom said grab the Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. Oh, you can use the keyboard, actually. You don't need to use the mouse. Oh, that's actually really nice. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. I don't even have to do this, really. That's nice. The passages were a pretty tight fit. They'd oh, that looks right out to the hands and bellies. Like the stairway, yeah. Okay, well, now we have access to get back through there. Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. What does that say? Um, Washington Invitational 1946 participant? Okay. Man, they really went all out for like this child, uh, like this child star thing, yeah. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Barb Street, yeah, she is definitely like prodigy of, of the family. Of all cool the little comic strip too. About Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Fine quality. Oh, I want to. Can I read all of it? Oh, Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it. The surprise ending of Barbara Finch. Okay, well, I can read the rest of it. Uh, I didn't read it. <laughs> Motherfucker. Barbara was famous for her scream. <whistles> now at 16, she was all... You love this part? Well, I guess I'll see what's beastie con. But in a lucky break... She'd been asked to perform her signature. Honestly, that would have been pretty cool back in the day. Like, have like a little convention about like these old timey practical effect monsters and stuff. That would have been pretty dope. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan, her current boyfriend, Rick. Was about to demonstrate when 
Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. I can't really stop this, so I'm gonna have to like kind of just watch it as I kind of go. Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried- A gang of hoodlums and Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to- That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. That's very inconvenient if you need to get things done quickly. Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him right on cue. Oh, and you actually like do this part too. She listened for Rick, but the house was silent. Well, I guess now that gives me access to go into the basement when I return, I guess. Also, cool graphically. Let's not get demonetized, so let's move it on. All right. And imagine the worst. Well, also the fact that there's blood there, yeah. <laughs> Alright, I didn't think I would actually have, like, control of this. But to actually... Oh, yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. We need a cane for a weapon in a video game, for real. But I guess we don't need to now. Yeah, fuck the soap. Yeah. I'm gonna fuck anybody up with this. <clears throat> the gang's leader is the infamous Hookman Killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. Oh, that's definitely not creepy. <laughs> Get in my way. You, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even control that. Rick? Yeah, he earned that. Barb, relax. I was just trying to that scare was cool. you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused. And she threw him out. And she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb. Can I keep the crutch? Can I see my other crutch? Oh, yes, nice. <laughs> when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later. Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up. But if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. Yeah, hoo, ha, hoo, ha, hoo. Messing up my own property. Yeah, hoo, hoo, hoo. Yeah, hoo. I don't know why, but I really like the fact that you can use a cane as a weapon. I don't know why I like that a lot. Hey, hun. Fuck these skeletons. Here you got apple soup. You giving that to the kids? All right. All right, well, it's very clearly leading me to a specific spot, yeah. Six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. Uh, yeah, turn around. Returned, saw the hook man, and was speechless. He was quite smashing. There's gotta be 
you know the way out of here. Oh, space is also to actually hit. I've been talking to myself with text. Oh. I've been on for quite a bit. Oh, that's actually cool. Like the little, uh, little Wizard of Oz looking thing there. Alright, um. Yeah. No, we can't get out of there. They leave out from here? Yeah. How does he not see that? Yeah, who? Damn, what a badass. But she sensed the story might not be over yet. Man, you got 10 0 matchup by, uh, by a crutch. Let me not slip on that. Oh, nice. She vanished. She listened for his breathing, but all she heard was. Not there. Only place he could have been was back down there. At least in that quick a time frame. Dying to speak to young Barbara. At the door, she heard a whisper. It was coming from inside the house. They were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave a performance of her life. I wasn't there myself. She had a taste for stardom, but unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter, hiding under his bed the whole time. They took it all pretty hard, but that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box, is all they ever found of her. Her fear. Yeesh, wow, cool. Now that's yeah. a real eerie tale. <laughs> I like this guy. <laughs> that was quite cool, actually. That is pretty cool. I love how they, like, made that work with, uh, with the graphic novel, like, actually being, like, something you would control and, like, still actually visually seeing it as a comic like that. That was really cool. That was pretty sick. Alright, one second. Gotta get the pup. He is, uh, outside peeing. So, hold on. One second. Let me get him. Dogs in the house. All right. That was a laugh, not a scream. That was really cool, though. I like that part. Uh, well, let's see. Do we just go back out? I don't see anything else to interact with. All right, cool. All right. Hopping back in. I guess now I know why mom didn't like me playing with the music box. 
And yeah, that just straight up opens up the uh, the basement. So we'll head straight there. I wonder if you could sequence break that. Like, if you knew that ahead of time, because I was able to turn it, but I don't know if you're able to, like, turn it and get the key from there. That'd be kind of cool if, like, if you were able to sequence break that. It doesn't let you? Alright, fair enough. No speedrun strats here. Mom said the basement was off limits, unless I wanted another tetanus shot. Right, so you get to see, like, Sven's area with, like... First of all, those are just straight up the seven dwarves as the gnomes. So no blood on the floor like in the comic. I saw sneak down to the basement once, carrying packages. I thought maybe she was hiding presents. It turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. Oh, it is dark. I can't see shit. I remember asking okay. mom once about where Walter had gone. She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. If there's a pattern in all these stories, I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. 1952 to 2005. Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. Oh! On that first day, after the shaving started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Having a schedule, living for today. I always expected to be dead tomorrow. But if you wait long enough, you'll be used to anything. So that's January of 76. Even a monster. On the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. So she was going into the basement all the time to feed Walter, I guess. And then one day, everything just... And then 2005. Stopped. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. What a way to cure PTSD. Tired. Spent 30 years in a bunker on the ground. Well, maybe yeah, I no just kidding. Got tired of being afraid. It's been a week now, the longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. I have to leave while well, I still can. This is already so far being like the to me aside from the uh, the graphic novel. This is so far the most interesting. I already really like this. I know it's out there somewhere. Whatever killed Barbara and Molly and Molly and Calvin and Calvin. What the hell? Maybe this is all a mistake. But I need to stop living the same day. Even if it kills me. Whatever's out there, I, can't I want you to know I'm ready for it.
I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. I don't mind if I only have a year left. Or a month. Or a single week. I'd be happy with one more day. I can already imagine the sun on my face. Dude, this is so intriguing, man. I am super in. Walter died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. Man, I am super into this game. And like I'm it's sure my mom was intrigued. trying to protect me. Like, but like what? Like, what is going on? Like, it's... It is super cool. Some are intriguing and some are depressing. Such a creative game. Yeah, Maybe I mean, no kidding so far. I'm already very interested to, like, see how it all wraps but up. But if she never told me about an uncle under the house, I can only imagine what else she was hiding. I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. Yeah, I guess those are like all of the things that like he threw out, like all the peaches and creams. Trying to bury something that's still alive. Okay. An Alan Wake flashlight would be now that great right now. Us left. Or maybe two. Oh, we're actually getting out of here. I thought it was time I heard the stories from <laughs> See, that's the, that's the part that the game doesn't tell you. He kept it all in. Found out what happened to <laughs> but now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. That was very standby me moment, you know. So much in a family curse. Passing away on the train tracks. We made it real. Oh, man. That's tough. The train doesn't even, like, lead to anywhere. It leads out. That's so interesting. I mean, at least to a part that you can't even go to, but yeah. I don't know if I should even be writing this. Very nice, uh, very nice art here. I guess that's where we're headed. Who is sitting up there? Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. What remains of Edith Finch? But That's I thought you should know about your the family. title already. Like now with what's going on, I feel like before we actually get into it, there's probably something that's gonna happen to her, and all that what remains of her will be the stories that she's telling about her family. That's probably what this is all like, kind of circling around to. Probably, I just don't want to like, don't want to say if I'm right or wrong, but. Just based off title name and like how the game is presenting itself, you know. And the history you're a part of. A little wreckage or something out there. Though to be honest, dude, he I didn't even get like ten feet from out. the house. He busted out and then just got hit by a train right outside his house. He didn't even get far. Like, in relative to, like, where he was the whole time. Wow. I think the people in these stories believed them. For what that's worth. This is super interesting. I love, like, little, like, games like these. And just, obviously, straight up narratively driven and stuff. Like, I, I love being intrigued by this stuff. It's great. I think those are the questions I was asking when I was playing for the first time, too. Yeah, I mean, you get to that point, and then you're like, hearing her monologues and stuff. Yeah. Of imagination and stubbornness, and madness. Any of it seems possible. I appreciate you uh, coming through, dude. By the way. Much, uh, really cool that, like, to see somebody, so uh, much as interested in the game as I am, like, going through it. Even if you have played it, you know? What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? 
Well, I think now this game will, will at least be uh, talked about in my game of the year uh, it's stream, I guess. It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but... The pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. Three well, of the gerbils are mine, and two had been my fault. Derby, Derby Jr., Burpy, Chirpy, Furpy, Lurpy, and Zerpy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the seven dwarves are the seven... The seven gerbils. Shadow, Christopher, Bob, Oliver, and Shitazi? 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 Lucy, Daisy, Charlie, Tucker, Coco, Zoe, and four that are not marked. With a fish and a rabbit. And Bailey. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. Molly Finch with a cat. Yeah, okay. Calvin Finch with the... Yeah, okay. Shotzi. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Sven with that. Okay. Edie Finch. I guess her with her book. And Walter with... Something. And Barbara. Oh, born on... Wow, that that is interesting. Born on October 31st. Doing the movie with the Bigfoot being Hollywood themed. And then also dying on that same day. That's interesting. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on. But for Edie, the past never went away. Well, that's really cool. Does it say who this is exactly? She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. No, not quite, but I guess that might be Sven who made the house. Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. Not even a wreckage. That is straight up just another house. What the hell? side was always easier for me to understand. But the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. Her dad Gregory, was pretty strict, Sam, but it wasn't enough Gus. to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. Oh, man. Oh, that's the most rough. Oh, man. Wow, this is a big family. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. We never found Milton's body, so my mom insisted we were putting up a monument, not a tombstone. Just uh, pretty much three months before I was born, and very close to my brother's birthday, actually. I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday. And find everything out for myself. Oh, is this the treehouse from earlier? It might be, actually. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, look at that. But looking back on it now... If she told me there was going to be so much climbing, <laughs> I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. What? What are you doing? <laughs> All right. Way to drop that detail. Holy moly. I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. There's milk. Them shits is stale, brother. 
they were both pretty intense. Sam spent his life shooting photos, but Mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. Oh, Sam. Yeah. Dawn, I promise you'll never forget this Oh, this, this is weekend. cool. Yes, sir. These look down as far as you can when you're well lit room. I think you can mm -hmm. see your stomach if I remember correctly. I'll definitely take a look. Yeah, I got you. Am I going to have to shoot anything? It's a hunting trip, Don. Shooting is strongly encouraged. We got propane and propane accessories. Yeah, that's been chat. Nice rifle. Nice. I'm not a gun enthusiast or anything, but yeah, I like, uh... What? Certain, certain guns are pretty cool. It's gonna rain the whole weekend, isn't it? Odin Finch trail map. I will never forget this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit. National Park Service, Department of the Interior. Okay, got it. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. The camera's older than you are. Wait, I guess like the focus is like where you would actually want to take the pictures in comparison. You're to right, what Dad. You're it's starting seeing. to clear up. Still freezing though. All right. None of these look great, but I try to find like good shots, but it keeps blurring. Like when I want to like make a better shot. Oh, hey. There you go. That's Aww. what I'm looking for. I'm just taking, like, constant pictures of nothing. <laughs> now I get it. Okay. Definitely should not have drunk all that coffee. Hmm. Hey! <laughs> That's a keeper. I'm just saying. I'm not always going to be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff, if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was going to be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Don't you think you could find something more interesting to photograph? No. Last time I was with my brother. It's Wabbit season. Man, that was a great trip. Poems by found Emily how Dickinson. How to build a fire. We found an old logging trail. There were deer everywhere. I bet if I could remember where that trail was, we'd spot a buck for you in no time. Give me a minute to check the map. Hey, I didn't plan that. Let's I see. Hey, I'm taking a picture of him again. You don't need to waste any more film on me, kiddo. All right, um, I'll do that again. I'll do all the ones that like seem to like kind of be in focus. Was it? Oh, hey! Oh, there you go. Good eyes, Don. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of you. Dad, I... Just breathe. Turn off your imagination. Focus on your target. Let me get behind you. Do I have to do this? 
gone, you don't have to do anything. But if you want to survive, you'll need to be strong. Great shot, Don. That... That is really interesting. Oh, I like that. The perfect shot that you take the exact same time that... Oh, man. Oh, that's not good. I'm proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? Dad, it's twitching. I think that's it's... totally normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about Dad! it. Dude. Of all these stories, <laughs> that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. Dude, man. Everybody out here just getting straight hoed. Oh, man, that's tough. All right, so yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess I could see that. Yeah, okay, okay. Look at that. Yeah, definitely a uh, very nice detail there. For sure. I guess you would have... If you took the time Instead to do that beforehand death, you would have had that Sam detail to go out of his way to meet it that cat is going to fuck him up airline ticket sparrow airlines probably better than frontier i'll tell you that right now I don't think you want to get back outside. You think you'd be able to open the door, actually. Uh, but let's see. Probably missed something. Oh, you can't, like, look through that. Yeah. Um... Oh, here we go. I did not see that the first time. Yeah. Straight MREs, yeah. After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. Oh, no, dude. Oh, man. This one's gonna be tough. Oh, this one's not going to be good. Ah, oh, oh, man, this is... Mm. All right, well. Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. I have seen, like... I have seen like a gif or like a little snippet of a video of this particular shot. So I can only imagine what happens here. So I think he saw things the rest of us don't. Oh, I control the frog. Oh, weird. Oh, oh, let me get all these. What is world like? GG. It's all the Marvel ducks in one area.
lost in his imagination. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Yeah. Big hops. I see more of them up here. Oh, look at the whale, actually. Yeah. The whale's eyes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, that's dope. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I can... Yeah, get up there. Oh. <laughs> Us so imaginative. Us great. Sam. <sighs> and she has nothing to say about that. That, ooh, man. Man. <sighs> Damn. Yeah, all well that that'll definitely be the the toughest one for sure. Raise flag 7:30, breakfast at 8, quiet time, duties, sleep trash, Gus. Yeah, get everybody all the kids into the routine. Yeah. Dude, man. Yeah, that's that's not good. My mom moved up to the loft after her brother's died. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. Yeah, no kidding. No kidding on that one. I mean, it's still tough to see, but yeah. No, I can't imagine this. what it was like for her to lose two sons after she'd already lost two brothers. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Oh, yeah, okay, so this is where we get the, um, well, like, where they're, um, pretty much mixed, Indian and white, for, like, the other kids, yeah. Dawn Finch. Hey, th this looks like us, right? Copy passport, meet with relief rep, after school teaching, pack for a whole day, then fly to, for us, Germany, but yeah, look at that. I mean, I'm gonna pack for two days, just to double check. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about. But I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. We. Oui. I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry and yet. A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. 
Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard, before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. This is really weird to control. This is really fast. My father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. You're gonna pack the whole week before? I don't blame you. <laughs> Honestly, I probably should do that too, but yeah. It is really it fast. So he never met me. We don't need a stepmom, were the words that I now pronounce you husband and wife. Oh, yeah. When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Dad. I'm gonna fly my kite. The wind picked up, and panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all Do, the does it really? Did you take any meds for it or anything? It's just a bump, not a headache. Well, I mean, I, what I mean is, like, if it still hurts, like, take, Thunder you know, pain medicine. Thunder sounded much too close you know, and full of angry power. But all my father said to this was, make the music louder. I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone, just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't, until we found you. Dude, th this fucking family curse is fucked up. She never talked about him, but Mom told me once if I- He had a mohawk like me. going to name me Gus. But I don't have it anymore. So we have- we have Edie, Dawn, Milton, and Lewis. Okay. Only a couple more. <laughs> you gonna do me like that again? She really is climbing through the whole damn thing. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Lewis was born a year later. Yeah, that's the that's the one that we saw first. Um, I'm gonna go down first. No, nope, we can't even do that. Never when my mind. dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. Mint, thyme, sage, and basil. And to see kids There's all this the pottering again. stuff. Maybe the at the wedding. A little bigger, but Sounds good to me. Edie was used to that. And for a while, things were good, almost normal. Great job. Our family history, fact or Could fiction? Last. All facts. Scientific method. Observation, question, research, hypothesis, experiment, data, and conclusion. I forgot about the scientific method. Oh my lord. To teach and to learn. Seven ways to create fulfilling classroom. No 
Hamilton's 10th birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. After Milton disappeared, the only thing he left behind was a room full of paintings. Probably a way to get there from the top. I need that? I definitely forgot about the scientific method. Okay, well, we just go in. Never mind. I think Edie was happy to finally have another painter in the family. Well, here comes the music. Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush. Oh, yeah, there you go. Four when Milton disappeared. And you get nothing from that. Damn. Flip art is Mom red. I spent months searching for my brother. Then she sealed the doors. Whatever Milton had found in the house, Mom didn't want it getting out. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, I'll, uh, let me close the door. Hold on. Yeah, I figured it might bleed in through it, so yeah, hold on one second. Okay, hopefully that's a bit better. Everyone just likes to do what they want, you know. It is what it is, but alright. Okay, well that door is open now. No, wait, did we come from here? Yeah, we did. Okay, never mind. It's crazy. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but oh, we're yeah, we're I almost at the top Lewis now. Blamed himself. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room until Mom got him a job at the cannery. Everyone always told me to stay out of Lewis's room, except Lewis. Uh, I'll go here first. Oh, he was into that ganja. Lewis yeah. Very, very San Juan Ale. That part of him. Legalize the marijuana. Yeah. Oh, what do you got? Oh, what you playing? What you playing? Hang on a second. I'm playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He played Super Mario World on the Wonderland Turbo. Oh, nice, dude. He's got a nice setup. He was so proud of being Indian. I think for him, it was a way to be something other than just a finch. Hell yeah, brother. Dear Mrs. Finch, 
As Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. Oh, I thought that was a vape As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly oh. sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. He kept working at the cannery. But he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to... wander. Oh, shit. Oh, that's, ooh, that's describe. interesting. Oh, that's so interesting. He said he started small. Imagining a labyrinth. Oh, that's super, it I love this. Oh, that's awesome. He'd feel his way about. Then something moved. Bats. And toads. And things that have not names. Dude, this is like actually how it is for like imagination and shit. Like when you're just like so stuck in your own routines and shit. Took it very seriously. This is totally how it is. Oh man, that's so interesting. By the way, he has like the same garb as like Richter from like Castlevania. But he found something more. I worried about him then. Daydreaming at the cannery. I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. This is super Tireless, cool. Focused. This is radical. I love this Lewis. part. So I let him go on. While I'm working, I'm imagining in my mind playing Ori in the Blind Forest. I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. I wonder if there's an achievement for a new specific. Can you pet the dog? You can't pet the dog. Damn. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. Oh. oh. <laughs> he built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Then he made musicians. Man, I'm assembling my whole Dragon Quest party members. Oh, I love these guys. And songs. Yeah. Yeah. Let the villagers roam, bro. They feeling it. He talked about starting. Was that fucking Hagrid at the top? And he was always humming something. Every day, his imagination grew stronger. He no longer spoke at the cannery. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him. At all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. This is definitely a two dollar an so hour job, by the way. He, <laughs> he definitely was not getting paid fair wages. I'm telling you that. He held an election for mayor. And he won. Yeah, let's go. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. Wow, oh, we're still going. He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. New Lewisville. St. Louis. <laughs> yeah, of course. He started drifting that. away from our reality. Cut it, cut it, don't hit that. Ugh. Minneapolis. 
Until Minneapolis Lewis. To go home from the cannery. Wow. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. Yeah, he is definitely not paying attention to her. You can kind of see her like still being in the background, but imagination still being a part in of it. Lewis yeah. He heard rumors of a of a handsome queen. Handsome yeah. Queen. Oh wow. Oh wow. The queen was on her own quest for sinister serpents. Yeah, I'm creating sinister my own serpents. stories. Was it fucking Mad Libs? Dude, who the fuck remembers Mad Libs other than me? I love those he things. the sound of her. Electric guitar! Oh, sitar, but still, yeah. Electric sitar. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Even then, his logic remained sound. He knew the world was all in his imagination. Oh, that's a lot of fish. I'm imagining but Elden so Ring. Proud of having created it. There we go. Open that door. In his own eyes, he'd become something great. Mad Libs are the best thing ever. Hell yeah! Look at us. For someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him. The real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. Well, this is just super cool. Oh, he's got a little Game Boy Pocket. He began to forget the world we know. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. Began to despise the man with a royal contempt. He's not even like doing it. I anymore. still thought I could save him. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. The palace would be packed with his companions. And we're, oh man, we're on a fucking conveyor belt. Oh, dude. Including the wise Calico who'd insisted on advising him. Hey, Shazamali. Oh, and that's the cat, yeah. Oh, wow, yeah. His queen waited, holding his crown. I think I see where this is going. There was only one thing left to do. God! Oh! 
best I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son, was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. Who the fuck cursed this man? What is this, the I fucking Stanley Yelnats and shit? I wish you could have met him. We have two left. Dawn and Eddie. Or Edie. Hey, at least he's got that WASD shit, yeah. Fucking play that World of Warcraft. Man, what a fucking interesting game. On the way back from Lewis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. Oh, is there more to climb? Oh. Uh. Uh. Oh, up here. Oh, I'm finishing this tonight. The game is not long. It's like only a couple hours. Yeah, we're finishing this like maybe within like the next half hour. I, I, I doubt it's gonna be much longer. But I understand why we left. My mom ended up leaving everything behind. O oh God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Way up, I feel blessed. Time. Maybe you should have come sooner. But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. That whole last day, Edie just watched his pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last... I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. When my mom said the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that Edie had a key to it. afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay. Dear there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. 
They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. You know, I've seen that house every day of my life. Reminds me of the Orphan of Koss. <laughs> Walking up down, down the beach. Back to it. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. I got turned around. For a while, I wandered. Oh, I thought I was dropping frames. Never mind. I started seeing things. I'd forgotten had ever existed. But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Or maybe I came back to them. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and... Edith, what are you doing in here? It's mine. Edith! Mom, you're gonna rip it! Let go! I kicked and screamed, but... Mom dragged me to the car. I never saw great-grandma Edie again. The next morning, the van came to pick her up, but she was already gone. After that, we moved around a lot. We both tried to make the best of it. A few years went by. My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. <coughs> the rest happened pretty quickly. She got better for a while. And then she didn't. And then I was alone. last finch left alive. What a fucking sad, Until like, I found out about you. family. Shit. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. I appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. Oh, sorry. This journal was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. I just want to meet you and tell you all these stories myself. Yeah, because who knows if I guess if you're reading this now, things didn't work out that way. Yeah, because who knows if she actually is the only one alive. This is where your story begins. Never... I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck.
I don't want to take the controls off or like let go, but. Man. Yeah, what remains of Edith Finch is her son. Yeah. That's really cute. Oh, they're actually using like baby pictures for all the programmers and everything. Oh, that's actually really cute. I like that. Or just, yeah, I guess in general, whatever they are, but. Wow. Yeah, so I was kind of right with uh, how it was kind of like leading into each other at the end. Uh, what remains is that journal and the stories, yeah. But to the extent of what actually it is, she passed away. And yeah, well. <sighs> Man, what a fucking... What a sad story. Like a sad... Like, explanation. She, jo Joan's name in the ending screen? Oh, okay. I don't know why that's specifically an achievement, but maybe I'll take a look at that later. Nah, man, yeah. I, I did hear a lot of stuff about the game. And it's like, yeah, one of those, like, just don't really talk about it. Just kind of play it and get that experience for yourself. Yeah, man, no, it's... Yeah, man, that's sad. That's sad going through all those. Definitely, uh... One of those, like, kind of walk-and-talk games, you know, like, you kind of just get through it. There's not really much of a game to it, but it's it's not really about that. It's about uh, how they kind of weave together all those, like, narratives about the family. Yeah, man, that's fucking sad, dude. It doesn't leave off on, like, anything good, you know? It doesn't leave off on, like, making you feel any sort of gratification. It just makes you feel empty. And, like, that's kind of, like... I feel like that's kind of what they're going for. It's like all of that to lead up to the family of like learning what it is. Like she writing all of them about them and kind of leaving it at that, you know? And then him returning back to the house to go and visit the graves too. Yeah, man, that's fucking sad. Man, what a fucking rough family. And it's also in memory of somebody as well. Um... I'd like to read into like that story of why it was created and why it was in their memory and seeing all that because I definitely don't know like the history of the game or like the team or anything like that but knowing like this story and like getting into it I feel like it probably has something to do with like the memory of this person that they made it for. I mean obviously I'll read into it a little bit later because I would definitely like to see it but yeah man that's fucking tough. That's just one of those yeah doesn't make you feel good but yeah, it's definitely one of those ones that I feel like it's worth your time. Also cool that you're putting the playtesters on the books there. That's actually really cool. Special thanks and all that stuff on the VHS tapes, yeah. Trick or treat, smell my feet. Sony Santa Monica. Hey, Santa Monica! I guess that's probably how they got funded and stuff back then, yeah. The Edith Finch team. That's about... At least on that photo, three, six, nine, twelve. Yeah, about twelve people. Maybe some more. Yeah. I definitely would like to see more of this. Like, the replay story option is now available. Select Edith from play uh, to play from the beginning. Well, I mean, I don't think there's really much to go off on, right? You just hit play and then it restarts. There's nothing else at the end, right? Yeah. And you being on the boat there, I feel like that's the the sun. Yeah, because you. Yeah, that makes sense because you have the 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 flowers at the from the beginning. Yeah, look at that. Wow. Yeah, what a what a what a great storytelling game. I don't think the family is really cursed at all, but the grandmother put the curse name on it herself. Yeah, like, this whole curse about the family, it's like, she has to learn all these stories and, like, hearing all these things that happened, and then, then that's when her mom got sick, you know, like, after that, you know, like, 
it was just a lot of seeming like series of unfortunate events and yeah maybe she just got paranoid or something yeah i mean that's really interesting you know yeah what, what a fucking oh is it actually just goes straight into it you don't even have to like look down look at that wow yeah man that's a that's a cool experience yeah and just about two hours long yeah i, I heard it was just about like the two hour range yeah just a quick uh a quick thing nah man what a fucking that that was good that was pretty good i don't know about it being uh like game of the year worthy or anything like that for me but i'll definitely talk about it and like how i experienced it and earthbound Corey, dude i appreciate the follow and thanks for sticking around pretty much throughout the entirety of it you know and you already played it so or at least experienced it and to see it on another brand new fresh of eyes yeah that's super nice like i really appreciate that dude um but yeah as far as like the recording goes for the channel yeah that's what remains to be the finch that that was good that was definitely a nice uh good experience yeah definitely really sad but damn super tough i'll definitely look more into like the 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 behind like the scenes i guess of the game and what it pretty much how it all came together and i like to see what the team also has made uh, aside from these because yeah I, I don't really know much about the team in general aside from this so i'll definitely look more into it but yeah that's gonna do it for the recording uh yeah what a, what a great experience um really glad that i got to uh squeeze this in like before the end of the year and i'll definitely talk more about it maybe um on my end of the year stream too but yeah that's it for today uh thank you guys for watching on the recorded sessions i will be back this week for some more uh fighting games for kof and ki uh just gonna throw on the streams just learn these games uh see how they are and uh also we'll have some cage two randos um at least just up until the end of the year and then my end of the year stream being on the 20th we'll get into some more cool stuff at that point uh with the game of the year and also the giveaways i have in play for that um yeah i don't know if i'm gonna start anything brand new or anything like that up until we start up in january but i don't know we'll we'll see as like the days go by um but yeah that's gonna do it for the recording thank you guys so much for tuning in and for as far as recording goes i don't think i'll see you guys uh that much often until next year but i will have a few things planned at least until then so yeah thanks again guys for tuning in and i'm glad that you guys uh hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i did uh definitely a really cool thing so all right as far as the recording goes that's gonna do it for me thanks again guys for tuning in peace out y'all see you guys next time